Hey guys, one of the questions I got regarding TNET was how do I actually add custom packets to the server and the client? Well, it's actually fairly easy. I want to show you how. First thing you will want to do is modify the TN packet file to add your own custom packet. I generally have them divided into requests and responses. Request is something you would send to the server and response is something you would get from the server. So if I wanted to have a custom packet called, for example, uh, custom request, this is what I would send to the server and I would get back a custom response. When adding custom packets like that, you will want to make sure that you do add them to the very end of this enum. This way, whatever save files you have on the server will not be affected. But anyhow, let's move on. Now that I actually have a custom request and a custom response, let's add the way to actually read that on the server. So you can pretty much add them anywhere inside this function, process player packet function on the game server. I'm just going to add it right after a request channel list, for example. Case packet, custom player request. And here I will actually read the data that comes in this packet. So, for example, if there is no data, I wouldn't need to read anything. But if you did send some data, like a string, for example, you would do it like this. And you would actually do something with this value. In my case, I'm just going to keep it simple. The way to actually respond is also fairly straightforward. Begin send, and then you specify a packet, custom response. This gives you a writer, and you can add whatever you want to this writer. So, for example, writer, uh, write one, two, three, for example. This will write a, an integer value to the stream. When you are ready to send this packet, Simply close it by doing this and send. And then you specify whether you want it to be sent reliably or not. In this case, it's true. And then you specify whom you are sending it to. So for example, you can send it to a player by specifying like this. This will send it to the player that actually sent this request. Or you can send this uh, packet to an entire channel, for example by specifying a channel. Oh yeah, make sure that the channel is not null here, by the way. And optionally, you can also specify a player to exclude. So if I didn't want to exclude anyone, I would just specify a null. But let's just send this response back to the actual player that sent it. Now that I've handle the custom request on the server, let's add a handler for the custom response on the client. For that, open up uh, whatever script you actually have in the game that will be your manager, or whichever script you want to handle this particular packet. A game manager just makes sense, in my opinion, because it will always be there, at least in this game that I'm making. So, for example, if I wanted to have a custom packet handler, I would do this in the awake of the game manager. To do this, I would do tm manager set packet handler and I would specify the packet ID. So this would be packet custom response and then I would specify the function to actually handle this packet. My custom handler, for example, like that. Now that I have that, it's time to implement the actual function. The prototype for this function looks like this. In case you're wondering where I got this from, you can actually navigate uh, to the definition of set packet handler and just right click on this guy, go to his definition, and that's where it actually is at inside the game client class. But anyhow particular function you can actually check if response is what you expect it to be so for example packet my custom uh, response then do something with it 
in my case I will probably want to read the value that I saved on a server so reader read int uh, 32 this will actually give me the integer that uh, I saved on a server if you recall this guy right here and then I can actually do something with this value well this leaves just one question unanswered how do you actually send the request to begin with? You should do it like this. So for example, if you had a custom function of some sort, and the status custom function you wanted to send a packet to the server, you do it like this. TN manager, begin send, and you specify your own custom packet. Custom request. This predictably gives you a binary writer which allows you to write whatever it is you, you actually wanting to write to the server so for example write 123 you would do it like this when you're done tm manager and send and this will send it to the server if you wanted to send more than one parameter just write more than one thing for example, this will send a boolean. So, a quick recap. TN packet, add your custom packets. In whatever function you want, send the packet using TN manager begin send. Send the request. This request will be picked up on the server. Here. Read whatever data you've passed to the server and create a response. This response will be picked up on a client, assuming you have registered the handler for this packet. And inside this handler, you can read whatever the server wrote to you and do something. And that's how you add custom packets to TNET. And now a word of caution. In most cases, you will not even need to add custom packets to TNET. Just using remote function calls is more than enough. But if you wanted to do it, hopefully I have answered your question regarding how. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.